I'm gonna try to make the iOS contacts app look sweet. So I wanted to start with what does it have now? You know, it has your name, your email, your phone number, your address, photo. So what else? How can we make this interesting? And I thought it'd be cool to have like a rank. It would basically be controlled by like an algorithm and it would track who you talk to the most and kind of predict who you want to talk to next. Do you guys remember AIM? How cool that away message was? LOL BRB. So I wanted to have that away message ability. And then it'd be cool to track like your analytics for how, how much you talk to someone. Like this was up 16% this month because you guys you know spoke more than you normally do. Or if there's a decrease, you could be like, hey, my friends miss me. I gotta talk to them more. After I had my list of like what I wanted my contacts app to have, I got on Figma, I created some mock-ups, but then I hated them and I started over. And I went on Google Images and Dribble and Pinterest and found some way cooler designs. <laughs> The cool thing about Swift UI is that you can basically do the designing while you're coding. So that's essentially what I did here. And this was the result. Okay, so it's coming together, right? We have our main info at the top, photo, name, phone number. Look at that beautiful man. We have our away message below that. Then we go secondary info, rank, birthday, years old. Then we have our communication analytics. So most recent text, average text per day, trends, when you last spoke. I also added a map because I think it looks cool and a contact button. So we have finished all of the features that we wanted to add, but there's still some work to do. We have to create a list for our contacts, fill it with some dummy data and add a really cool background to this screen. So here's our contact list. We have a photo with your ranking at the top with the name and we have a sort button at the bottom. You can sort by recent rank or alphabetically. To fill this up with some dummy data, I thought what better way than to include my friends, you know? So I pulled some of their pictures off the internet, imported them into this project, and I gave them names like Huge Ass and Seymour Butts, because that is fun for me. Okay, so without further ado, here is the list. We have Seymour Butts here. Just cook some steak on my grill, nothing better, feeling happy, all right? If I want to contact Seymour, you know, I hit one of these buttons. What about Huge Ass? He's so hungry he could ride a horse. How about Ricky Bobby? Shake and bake. All right. We can sort by ranking. So one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we just have to add our background. The white background is not enough, so we just need to make these look really good when you click on them. I wanted to use a lot of glass morphism because I love it and I think it's sexy. I added some waves then I added this blurred rectangle and now look at the difference. Here we have our boring skeleton version, you know, with no background, just white. And then watch what happens when we add this. Oh, mommy. I need a bottle. Come change me. I mean, would Apple ever do this? No, but like, what's good, Tim? You know what I mean? But the idea here is that these colors come from the photo of the person. Like you see in my photo, there's a blue background. So if I had like a red shirt on, maybe these colors are red. I don't know. But no, Apple would never do this. I understand that. This was just a fun, you know, what if thing. And that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, I mean, this pops, dude. This pops. Okay, cool. Uh, if you guys like this video, please subscribe for more. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell, you know the deal. Here's another video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.